So, we created our layers and we used colors to ascribe line weights for our objects. So, in essence, we go again to uh, Control P. The CTB stands for Color Dependent Flat Style Table. In AutoCAD, we have around 255 colors. But of course, we are not going to use all of that. As I have mentioned, we normally use the primary colors found in the second palette of the Select Color uh, dialog box. So again, we use these colors around 255 no it's exactly 255 colors and normally we use the uh, majority of these uh, colors on the second palette and sometimes we just add some additional colors uh, depending on the uh, standards by your firms or depending on your uh, standards however if your drawings becomes too complex the color dependent plot style will become uh, difficult to manage okay imagine there are a lot of colors to remember and when you exchange your drawings to other uh, industries or other allied professionals they might be using different uh, assignments for different colors and that complicates uh, things okay so the other type of the plot style comes in handy but majority of uh, AutoCAD users are well-rounded and most are using color dependent plot style so let's just close this one and let's bring out the options okay so right click and then click on options and then go to plot and publish so click on plot and publish tab and on this lower right we have here the plot style table settings so please click this one and we could choose either color dependent plot style to use or name plot styles so these are the two types of plot styles we use in autocad the difference here is that we use colors to identify the line weights to control the different objects however the name plot styles will be assigning specific plot styles to an object regardless of the colors assigned to it if you use name plot styles it will use the properties assigned to that name plot style however we shall not be using this in our case because a majority of our uh, firms and users here in our country is using uh, ctb or color dependent plot styles so we use colors to assign the different line weights of our objects